It's no use your blaming me. I'm upset by it too, but I can't help it. But you know I'm not off you. And you know I love you. It's just that it's a strain at the moment. I keep revolving the next day's lectures, or what's worse, last week's. I really wonder whether I should have undertaken them. I don't seem to have the stomach for addressing large groups on... I keep wondering whether I'm boring them or stupefying them and what the difference is. Am I in danger, then? What? What of? Of your looking elsewhere. I don't think I could bear that. Don't be silly. I do worry about it, you know. And the unfairness of it. It's not at all unfair. I was being childish. No, I mean the unfairness for me. Or us. Women. How, when I'm in my forties, which is tomorrow almost, you'll still be very attractive. So will you. When I'm in my fifties, or when you're in your sixties, going by current trends, I'll just be a, a woman in my sixties, as far as you're concerned. You don't believe that. I'm talking about my worries, not my beliefs. I can perfectly well imagine myself struggling against myself not to go through your pockets. Or your underwear drawer. Before ending up by doing both, probably. It's very humiliating. You know perfectly well I'm not frigid. Darling. Look. Let me tell you. Anyone want a cup of tea? Darling, shouldn't you be in bed? I've got a free class tomorrow. I don't have to be in until ten. Well, what have you been doing? Nothing, really. So much for Pascal, then, hmm? What? Was it Pascal who said, uh, that all human evil stems from our not being able to sit alone in our room doing nothing? Well, if we could all do that, there'd be no human beings left to do it. <laughs> <laughs> 